Welcome back my art friends. Today we are gonna paint a cute little otter. So what you're gonna need is a rag to keep your brush clean, some water to wash off your brush. I have a medium flat brush, as well as a medium and small round brush. The colors I'm gonna use are pink, white, brown, black, purple, and blue. So let's get started. First we're gonna paint our water background and to do that, I'm gonna use blue. Now I'm gonna just cover this whole entire thing in a nice blue color. Don't worry, we're gonna add a couple other colors to it. Now that we have our background painted, I'm gonna go in with some whites. And I'm just gonna drop a couple of spots of whites randomly on my canvas. And I'm gonna do the same thing with just a little bit of purple. Then I'm just gonna take these colors and I'm just gonna make wavy lines that kind of go up and down. Just to have a little bit of water movement. I'm gonna take my brush and wipe it off and not wash it off and then with that same brush I'm gonna have remember I didn't wash it I just wiped it I'm gonna put white on there and I'm just gonna set my brush down and I'm gonna spin it and I can press it down a little bit harder sometimes and a little bit lighter if I get too much purple on it I can wipe it off and go back in and add some more but this is just gonna be some bubbles from our otter I'm gonna let this dry and when I come back, I will add in our otter. Now that we have a dry background, we are going to lay out where our otter is gonna be. So I'm gonna switch over to my medium round brush and I'm gonna use a mixture of white and brown. So I've got half white, half brown, just to kind of lay out my little otter. So I'm gonna start with an oval right here in the center of my canvas. Okay, remember, we're just laying out our shapes right now, so none of this has to be completely finalized, but we're just gonna lay out an oval right there. And then on the top, we're gonna put another oval, but it's gonna go sideways. And then our third oval is gonna be right down here, and it's actually gonna come to a point. That's gonna be his little otter tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this whole space in with a light gray color, I'm sorry, a light brown color, but I also wanna add just a little bit of gray to it. So I'm gonna add the smallest amount of black paint to the tip of my brush because I want this to be a grayish brown color. So I'm gonna paint all three of these spaces with a mixture of white, brown, and black. So we're gonna go ahead and lighten up his face just a little bit right here. So I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm going to add a secondary oval just kind of right here in the middle. Wipe some of that brown off my brush. And then we're gonna add two little bumps up here where his little otter eyes are gonna go. And we're just gonna kind of smooth this color out because we want this whole light area to be connected all together. Mm -hmm. 
We're also going to take a white color and we're going to make a secondary oval on the belly. We want this to be more of a gray color. So I'm going to add some black and some white in here. I just kind of fill this space in with a light grayish brown. And out here, I'm gonna add some darker brown and black to the edges, and we're just gonna slowly kind of blend these two areas in together. So adding some brown and some black to my outside edges. And then watch what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brush and we're just gonna kind of start dabbing it as we go along the edge. This will give us a little bit of more of a look of that slick fur. We're just gonna kind of keep pulling that color in towards the center we'll have this great little blend of the colors so we're gonna do that all the way around so we're gonna start and wipe my brush off we're just gonna be tapping these edges all the way until we hit that center area so a little bit of brown a little bit of black on those edges and then tap them on in went ahead and wiped my brush off real good. I'm gonna switch to my medium, or sorry, my small round brush now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a really dark brown for the edging of his tail and his ear. So mostly brown with a little bit of black. And his ears are these two itty bitty little bumps that kind of come out just above the side, the halfway side of his face. With that same color, I'm also gonna outline the edge of his tail. And I can just kind of pull that color in and add a little bit of white to that center. Again, just to kind of show that there's some depth and that he has some roundness to him. We're gonna let this background dry. When we come back, we'll add in our details. With a dried background, we are gonna work on our cute little otter space. So um, up here, we're gonna make one area of the center of his nose just a little bit darker. So I am mixing up some brown with a little bit less white. And then right here, I'm just gonna make a teardrop shape. So it's kind of like a circle at the bottom with a point at the top. And I want that teardrop shape to kind of blend in the background. So I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I'm just gonna kind of go around it a little bit to kind of pull those colors into the background so that it's not just a teardrop shape stuck in the middle of his nose. Just take my, so my brush is dry and I'm just kind of squiggling and wiggling it around so it kind of blends into this background area. Just keep going bigger with a dry brush. And then with that same brush, with a little bit of brown paint, I'm gonna go right up here on his head. I'm just gonna start doing some stamping, kind of like we did on his belly. So we're gonna make some lines that are gonna look a little bit like fur. So very little bit of brown on my brush, and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the top of his head.
With the same brush, I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna wipe it off, but I'm gonna add a little bit of black paint. And I'm gonna make just two little eye shapes that are with his eyes closed. So nice and easy, they're just little rainbows. And from there, I'm just gonna add a couple of lines that kind of pull out of there. These aren't really eyeshadow, or these aren't really eyelashes. There's just a little bit of fur around his eyes. Just some really small little black lines. Going right between that light area and that darker area. All right. I'm gonna wipe that brush off. And dry it off and with a little bit of pink right here in this darker area that we made I'm gonna make a line across and a line down so it's the letter T and with that letter T I'm just gonna paint a little bit of these corners right there Wipe that brush off with a little bit of black paint. I'm just gonna put a small bump on the top. And underneath it, I'm gonna make a little letter J and then a backwards letter J. Wipe that brush off. With the back of my paintbrush and some white paint, I'm just gonna add a couple of little polka dots. Wipe that brush off. With a little bit more white paint on the very tip, almost no paint. I'm gonna give him a couple little whiskers and these whiskers are all just gonna kind of fall down. Then with some white paint, we're just gonna add a little bit of hair that goes into that black. So just a little bit of white paint is going right around my eyes onto my cheeks. So going over my eyes, those little lines and across his nose. Cute little otter. All right, let's zoom out and work on the rest of the body. All right, with our face finished off, let's move back on to the rest of our little guy. So I'm gonna stick with my small round brush and we're gonna add on our arms and our legs. So with some brown paint, I'm just gonna make, really it's a little loop, right? Super easy. Two little loops right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint those in with a darker color. Again, trying to keep that like little dabbing texture line. It just kind of helps make it look like there's some slick fur on these guys. This is going to go all the way back to his shoulders. Maybe bump out a little bit so you could see where it is. And his little feet are, they're almost the same, but really they're kind of more like two little lines in. And they kind of form almost like a seashell, maybe like a potato on that edge. See that?
And normally I would use black lines to show details, but I'm actually gonna use white lines because it's so dark. So right down here, I'm just gonna add a couple of curved little lines on these little foot pad flippers right here. So I'm just adding four lines that are kind of curving in towards the center. And then just a couple little lines right here at the tips of these, just three. Wipe that brush off. I'm gonna go back to my white paint. And I'm gonna add just a couple little wavy lines in the water around our otter. Now it looks like he's got his little chin up and he's looking in that water. A little bit more white right here along the bottom of his face, just to kind of define his face from his body. And then since I covered up some of my whiskers, I'm gonna go back in and add just a couple more whiskers on top. Just wasn't loving how his face was sitting, but now I'm happier with it. Don't forget that when you're finished to sign your artwork in a color that will show up well on your canvas. And don't forget, I never get to see your artwork unless you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.